Hi, I'm R. Stevens, author of Adventures in Legoland, and this is part two of Beating Civil Traffic Tickets. And what I'm going to discuss today is how to impeach a witness, a government witness, by asking only two questions. And typically when you get a traffic ticket, uh, the only witness against you is a police officer. It's just basically your word against his. And as the accuser, see a lot of people may say, well, these questions aren't appropriate for the police officer. Well, that's just going in and showing that the officer's not competent to testify. Uh, he wrote the ticket. He's supposed to be able to answer questions and, and you're supposed to have a right to confront your accuser and demand the nature and cause of the charge of proceedings. And you're supposed to be able to question the police officer or any witness on prior testimony, whether it's written or oral. And what he puts on the ticket is written testimony. He's making an allegation against you and you're supposed to have every right to confront him and question him on it. They don't like you to ask questions because, as you'll see, it's very easy to show that the officer has no idea what he's talking about. They don't teach him these things, and even if he could answer the two questions, uh, it doesn't help him. It just digs a deeper hole for them. Uh, and to show that, I want to just restate uh, what, you know, from the last video why you have government, because it forms the basis of the questions. And the public relations is, and we know this is all bull, we know this isn't true, but it's, it's just propaganda, is that the government was created to protect and maintain individual rights, and you can find that in several state constitutions and the Declaration of Independence. So from there we know that the jurisdiction of the court is of course limited to protecting and maintaining individual rights, therefore for, for there to be a case or controversy as the courts have consistently held, there has to be a, the violation of someone's rights and damage. So. The police officer, like everyone else, is required to file a valid cause of action because without a valid cause of action there is no standing and the court acquires no subject matter jurisdiction and cannot proceed against you, or anyone for that matter. So the, the question is to have him impeach, and what I mean by impeach is, is just to show that he's legally disqualified uh, from testifying, that his testimony is inadmissible against me, you, or you know, you know, just whoever happens to be the, the, the defendant in that case. It uh, doesn't mean he's removed from office, though that would be really good. I'd have a, yeah, that, would be, that would be spectacular. However, that's not what it means. It just means he's not qualified to testify, and legally the judge has no discretion to accept his testimony, so it's got to be thrown out, and including his prior testimony, which would be the ticket. So the two questions are this. I like to give a, the police officer a copy of the ticket. I'll hand him a copy and ask him, did you file a valid cause of action against me? Now, of course, <laughs> he's going to have to say yes, and they usually allow him to answer that question because it's pretty, pretty obvious if he doesn't have a valid cause of action, there's no standing, and the court has no subject matter jurisdiction, and the case has to be thrown out because the court is established to protect and maintain individual rights. It's the second question to follow up that will cause usually both attorneys representing the police officer to jump out of their chairs. And uh, the question is, how many elements are in a valid cause of action? And usually his attorneys will jump out of the chair yelling, objection calls for a legal conclusion, the witness is incompetent to testify. Now, he could say he's unable to testify, they'll say uh, it's outside the scope of his expertise. It means the same thing. He is not qualified to testify to those matters. But they allowed him to answer the first question, that's okay, because it helps their case. But once you ask him to explain what he said, now they've got a problem with it. What they don't understand is that they, you know, the judge will always sustain the objection, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, which means the witness is inco inco incapable or unable or incompetent to testify, which now requires the judge to strike all the testimony. And it's that simple. Doesn't mean the case is going to get thrown out, because again, traffic courts are scams ran by criminals. Yeah, they wear robes, they wear suits, but they're criminals nonetheless. But it's just that simple to be able to, to impeach a government witness.